Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video we're going to be talking about surface tension in relation to the lungs. Now surface tension, I've included a diagram here so you can see a uh, sort of brief little uh, picture showing you how surface tension actually works. But the definition of surface tension is um, it's uh, the tension of the surface film of a liquid caused by the attraction of the particles in the surface layer by the bulk of the liquid, which tends to minimize the surface area. So it's a form of elastic tendency of liquids which makes them acquire the least surface area possible. And that's being shown by this uh, little image here. Now, uh, since the lungs are very, very elastic, stretchy, distensible, the forces which resist this distension is elastic resistance, whether it's through some form of structural deficiency, um, for example, in the case of pulmonary fibrosis, which we discussed in the previous video, and also surface tension, which is arising from the fluid in the alveoli. Now, uh, the lungs themselves, they're able to secrete and absorb fluids in two antagonistic processes and the overall effect of these two, um, these two methods is to leave a thin film of fluid on the alveolar surface. So the two mechanisms are fluid absorption and fluid secretion. Fluid absorption is driven by the active transport of sodium ions and fluid secretion is driven by the active transport of chloride ions out of the alveolar epithelial cells. Now, the thin layer of fluid on the alveolar surface has surface tension, and this is produced due to the attraction of water molecules to each other as opposed to the air at the fluid surface. Now, the effect of this is uh, the surface water molecules are pulled tightly together by attractive forces from underneath. Now, this surface tension acts to collapse the alveolus and also increase the pressure of air within the alveolus. Now, via the law of Laplace, the pressure which is thus created is directly proportional to the surface tension and also inversely proportional to the radius of the, of the alveolus. So the pressure which is being created it increases in response to the surface tension. So the more surface tension, the more pressure, but inversely proportional to the radius of the alveolus. So the smaller the um, radius of the alveoli, alveolus, the greater the pressure. This means the pressure in a small alveolus would be greater than in a large alveolus if the surface tension was the same in both.